it's me! T. Ooh. A bitch started beauty school and she got her hair a completely different color. Oh shit. Oh. Oh my god. How long has it been a month? I think it's been a month. Almost two months since my last video. The my mother getting an unwanted dick pic. Ooh, child. So much has happened. Cardi B and Nicki Minaj got into a fight. I saw the movie Thoroughbreds finally. Holy shit. I dyed my hair pink. And now I have pink nails. Ooh. Fun, fun. Super fun, fun. Ooh. And woo! Oh, and I have a pink wig. Hello. Oh, she's fun. She's a good time. I just have to cut the lace off of her. Oh, oh, go sit down. Go sit down, chill out. You're doing too much. I bought Riverdale on DVD season two, even though I never missed an episode. Huh, duh. Of course I bought the Vogue with Beyonce on it. Who didn't? Um, but there's so many <laughs> things to talk about. Oh, I got this dope ass undercut in the back of my head. Oh my God. I'm a whole new bitch. Shit, it's been crazy. Well, mainly beauty school has been kicking my ass. Oh my God. Beauty school will be fun, they said. It'll be easy, they said. You'll be making connections and doing hair and having the best time of your life. Lies! Oh my God. I feel like my insides are imploding slowly. Just like real slow. Like I'm dying on the inside. So I go to school from 8 to 6.30 now. I've officially met phase two. That's why I'm able to film this video because now I'm on a different schedule where I only go to school three days a week. And child, when I tell you, this is one of the perks that has come to being in school now. Holy shit. Cause that fucking Friday week shit Oh, 8 to 4.30 was about to kill me. Being in this building, so many chicks, so many personalities. And it wasn't just the chicks. The teachers have all these fucking personalities. Oh my goodness. All of this and that and oh, baby, it was too much at one point in time where I literally looked at my mom and said, you know what? Quentin is on the horizon. And you know what? I wouldn't even feel like bump. I quit. You know, cause shit. You ever feel like some shit is gonna make you pull your hair out? That's how beauty school made me feel at one point in time. But I have not reached phase two. I go to school three days a week. I can almost take clients, but <sighs> there's like a transition sheet that I have to fill out before I can take clients, which I'm gonna fill that bitch out between yesterday and Wednesday when I go to school so I can hurry up and make this little shmoney. And by shmoney, I mean tips. Cause that's all a bitch can make. And I swear to God, Roxy, if you keep moving this camera, I know you want, you know what, M move. Come here, come here, come here. Bring your ass. Okay, so other things that have been going on. I made a lot of different friends and new friends at beauty school, even though it's been kind of stressful. We had tests every fucking Friday, y'all. I was constantly doing book work. A bitch gotta wear black every single fucking day. Oh my God. I can't even get a primary. Not a pop of color, nothing. I would love to. Shit. It's just like, oh. And the occasional day where you can wear green. Get out of my arms and go away. The occasional day where you can wear green. But all of my green is either club cute or it got some fucking sayings on it and shit. And I can't do that at school. There's rules. So many fucking rules. And if you're wondering where my snake bites went, that's part of the rules. I have to take those out. Because, oh, it's, it's distract. Oh, God. If you follow me on my other social medias, you've seen the rants. You've seen how I feel. Oh, my God. This shit is exhausting. Oh, I could write a whole fucking Shakespearean play about this shit. Oh, and it's only September. This is shit is 14 months. 14 months, and I started in July. Will I make it? Will I make it? Oh, God. And there's more people coming next month. Oh, my God. 
Ah! But I'm surviving. I'm scratching and surviving. Good times. You know, I'm, I'm doing my thing. I'm doing it. I'm making great connections. I'm meeting good people. And it's a really good time. And I'm excited that other people are excited for me to do their hair. Because I already can tell by being in beauty school the amount that I have been in. That there are certain things that I want to do and certain things that I don't want to do. Like I don't want to do perms. At all. Why are we still doing perms? Why Why are there people that still want perms? Where I gotta get out these rollers and these fucking papers and then get the hair and then flip the paper on and then get the roller and then the... And then the roller gotta be straight and then the hair gotta be even and the rollers can't be on top of each other but they have to be next to each other and it has to be neat. I'm not a fan of foils. I never thought going to school with white girls all my life and looking at their highlights that one day I would be doing highlights. All these goddamn foils. Oh my god. Foils, foils, foils. And uh, I never knew what a fucking balayage was. Now I know what a balayage is. Fucking balayage. But it's, it's, it's pretty easy. It's pretty self-explanatory when you know what it means. I prefer that over... Foils, but then there's a thing called a foilage where you can combine the two and the shit makes my head hurt just saying it out loud. It's like I'm good at foils, but I don't like it. I like cutting hair. I think that's really fun. Especially taking my time and making it look very even and structured. I have to get over almost cutting my fucking fingers off though. I'm left handed. It's a lot, y'all. It is a lot. Damn. I know I want to color hair because I think that's so fun when you take your time and color something real nice and then it's a whole different person. It makes the person look like completely different when you wash it and set it and do it real nice. Blowouts are dope. They make my fucking wrist hurt, but they're pretty dope, especially that whole bounce without putting extreme amounts of heat on people's hair. I like flat iron curls and then I like regular curls, but this fucking... Clickety clack, click clackety click clack fucking curler shit we got is gonna drive me up the wall. But I'm doing it, y'all. I'm doing it. Do I do makeup? No. I just do hair. And I'm starting to love men's cuts. I never disliked them. I always like men's cuts. I think because my first men's cuts was a little boy and that like stressed me out. But when I watch other people do men's cuts and just looking at a men's cut, I would just be excited to do it. Cause like shit, it looks pretty easy. Ask the man what he want, don't take too much off cause you can't put hair back. Be easy and good about the shit. So I feel like I've learned a substantial amount, amount but there's always more to go. Ooh girl. Whew, beauty school has done so much to me and it's made my hair a different color. But partially that had something to do with me. I wanted to dye it a different color. I figure why I go through this whole experience and not do something fun to myself. So I thought pink. I've done every other color. You guys have seen my hair. But pink. So why not do something fun? And I have classmates that I trust who always give me great and safe input. And, you know, it's a good time. For the most part. When I don't have my head stuck in a book or I'm stressed out by the lack of space or my mannequin hair just don't want to curl right or fucking perm rods and fucking foils ah! but in other news Cardi B and Nicki Minaj got into a fight look this is all I'm gonna say about this I think Nicki Minaj has a tendency to be a bully and I think Cardi B rap about what she be about I think people forget what on site mean. If I don't fuck with you and I'm like, on site, bitch, I'm going to beat your ass. Like, I just don't get what the discrepancy is. Do I partially agree with Kelly Rowland when she was like, we shouldn't be fighting? Yes. But do people need to quit running their mouth to make people want to slap the shit out them and throw shoes? Maybe so. So, I don't think one party is as innocent as they want to come off to be. So, that's just how I feel about that shit. Shit is crazy. I'm excited for the return of Riverdale. Um, I hope they bring Cheryl's um, first girl love, Heather, into the picture. I doubt they will for the first half. I feel like that would be more of a second half situation. Because by the teaser trailer so far, it looks like it's going to be pretty jam-packed with shocking shit. I mean, phallus. Come on. Are you not ready for fucking phallus? And we finally get to see where that serpent tattoo is? 
I mean, we sacrificing babies to fucking demon overlords with fucking twigs and shit. I don't think it's going to go the supernatural route because I think they're reserving all of that for Sabrina. But I do think it's going to take an occult turn, which I'm pretty stoked for. And we're going to have to see Betty and Jughead and the gang save Polly's dipshit dumbass out of it. Because she's going to try to drag a mama to hell with her. Ooh, that girl been sketchy since the start. I'm telling you. My God. I can't wait to see more Choni. I don't like because they reserved their whole relationship for the fucking deleted scenes in season two. So I hope it's more brought to the forefront. And it really gives them, like, time in screen and on camera as a couple. And make them just as important of a storyline as Varchi and Buckhead. Because to tell you the truth. I'm getting sick of both of them. <laughs> so why not give us more Cheryl and Tony? And I hope that Archie and Veronica stay together. But I also hope that Veronica get like some type of love interest. Because Archie's had all of this shit. Why don't we give Veronica some fun just a tiny bit? And if Betty is going to assume this whole Serpent Queen role, I hope she actually does wear like a leather jacket and assumes like this badassery. I hope it's not just like, I'm still going to be a good girl while I'm helping my boyfriend be a gangster. Like I hope it actually goes somewhere with it and it's not just for a show. Um... Yeah, so I'm pretty excited for that. I saw the movie Thoroughbreds. Holy shit, the ending. Um, R.I.P. to Anton Yelnick. That was like one of his last films he did. The ending really fucking shocked me. But like, I liked how it ended. I love the way they did the movie. I like because even though it was called Thoroughbreds, the whole focus of the movie wasn't on horses. I like because it was the focus on them as people and how we act as people and how things are perceived on the outside and how friendships change, not only with age, but because of surroundings or maybe other things going on and how you can sometimes get back to that and maybe in the most warped ways. I thought it was a pretty interesting film. I thought it was pretty dope. Movies I want to see... I want to see The Nun, even though I heard it's not that scary. I still want to see it because it's a part of the whole Conjuring, Annabelle, all that shit thing. Um, I've seen Hereditary. I thought it was I. Like, it wasn't like, oh my god, it's scary. It had some, holy shit, what the fuck moments. Um, I saw Ant-Man and I thought that was dope. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, Jurassic Park. Jeff Goldblum can do no wrong. I mean, I could have had more dinosaurs chewing the fuck out of people and ripping them the fuck apart. I could have asked for more of that. Um, Incredibles 2 is everything I needed and more. I need more Edna Mode and more um, Baby Jack Jack. I feel like they can have their own series together. I feel like there could be more of that. I love that whole fucking scene. It was so great. And plus, him fighting a raccoon. I need more of that in my life. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? There's been so much, guys. I haven't been here for a month. Oh, Pose was an amazing show. I think everybody should check out Pose on FX. Holy shit. That show was absolutely amazing. Um, I can't wait for the new American Horror Story. Um, if I could review it, I think I will, depending on what day it comes on. And if I have the time, because, ooh, shit, a bitch be tired. Like, I fell asleep at fucking 9 o'clock yesterday. What the fuck? Like, I don't even remember falling asleep either. That's what makes it worse. It was like I was talking to my mom, and then the next thing I knew, <sighs> like, who the fuck am I? Who the fuck am I? An old lady? A tired old lady? No, a beauty school student. Fuck. <sighs> Jesus. But I think that's everything I wanted to catch you guys up on. Beauty school. I've seen some movies. Seen some TV shows. Been loving them, excited for certain stuff, and I hope you all have been well, and I colored my hair, and it's real cute, and my cat's still annoying. Well, like I say at the end of all my videos, if no one's told you that you're awesome and that they love you, I think you're awesome, and I love you. Oh!